We work with patients and patient group relations, patient group leadership in all aspects of our work. Um, one of the things that Genzyme is focused on, of course, is bringing treatments for rare diseases to the market. And that means that the patients are really at the center of the whole thing. So I want to say we have to work with the patient. It's a pleasure to work with the patient groups. And we do that in all aspects of our work, from research through to the day-to-day -day policy work that I'm doing. Well, um, patient groups and patients themselves are absolutely vital. Of course, since the objective is to get the treatment to the patients, patients are very, very well placed to know. They are the most knowledgeable groups about their particular disease. Now, I don't think that they particularly are concerned with what type of technology the treatment is based on, as long as it works, as long as it's safe and effective. Having said that, um, a lot of these diseases have had no treatment, and it's the advances in biotechnology and the genomic revolution that's making new treatments possible. Um, and I think that that was one of the main reasons why Eurodis was very, very involved in the development of the advanced therapies regulation, for example. Um, and another very, very practical area where patient groups are effective is funding research, so supporting uh, research groups, supporting researchers, but supporting companies that are taking a product through development and to the market. And we've seen that personally in the field of Duchenne muscular dystrophy, for example. I think coordination and collaboration is really the key here. Um, the, the field of research for rare diseases is so complex. And one of the most important things is to work together. And as I said earlier, I mean, patients are really at the center of the whole thing. They're the glue that bring us all together. And they're the reason why, of course, we're doing research. It's not just an abstract thing. Um, so any opportunities that we have to foster that collaboration, be it like days like today, where we're all coming together to talk about research, um, or even collaborating in things like Orphanet, a database that brings together the researchers, the publications, the information, the patient groups, Anything that we can have to bring that all together is absolutely vital. But one thing, of course, is that governments have a, have a, place to, have a role to play. Um, and it's not enough just to put money in at the beginning of development of a treatment. Governments have to also make sure that they have mechanisms to ultimately get the final, we hope, treatment to the patients. And I think that that's something that can't be underestimated. Because if you have a, an access to the patient at the end, you'll stimulate more research at the beginning and hopefully then by working together on all ends of the chain we'll be able to be successful.